Hello everybody, my name is Drew Chester of Clean Cut Gaming. Thank you so much for um, subscribing and liking my channel and my videos. Um, I'm sure I'll have more content out uh, later this week. Um, but before we get into more uh, videos, me playing games, um, so, a couple months ago, back in June, um, I did a little lesson with all the, uh, high school and college age kids in my family at my family reunion, and, well, first off, if you don't know our family, well, I just, we do have a lot of people in our family, so we, I had a little get together with the guys at my campsite, and we, I had a little lesson with them about being a man of God, and, um, it was pretty much the first time I've ever done something like this, and, um, and I want to share that lesson with you, and I want to share that lesson with you people and hopefully inspire you to be better men, better people. Sorry, women, I don't have anything for you, but I'm sure you can find something on YouTube. That some lady does. I'm sorry. So, with that said, let's jump right into the lesson. These days, um, young men, these days, they just, they don't act like men. A lot of college and high school age kids. They're basically doing whatever they want. And, of course, when we're young, we tend to make bad decisions. Now, I'm not condoning any of these bad decisions, but, let me put that headset down. There we go. <laughs> even though we don't need it. And even though we, I'm not condoning any of these bad decisions, of course, we're young and immature, but we need to be growing, we need to be learning, and we need to be putting good ideas into practice. And it's very hard for us as young men to do that. And if we continue to make bad decisions, they end up affecting us later in life. Like, say, um, say you decide not to have a job. Let's say you don't try getting to work at, like, McDonald's or Walmart or wherever. Okay? How are you going to make money? How are you going to support your wife and Kids, your future wife and kids. Well, I'm just gonna start a YouTube channel and a Twitch channel, and I'm gonna be probably that way. Yeah. <laughs> Even though I do have a YouTube channel, yeah. I'm not leaning on that 100%. I have a real job. And so, yeah. And that's the first thing I want to talk about, is work. What does a young man need to do to act like a man? Number one is be a hard worker. Um, first, second Thessalonians, my bad. Second Thessalonians 3, let me find that first. Alright, I found the verse, is Second Thessalonians Chapter 3, verses 10 and 11. 
And it says, For even while we were with you, we commanded you this, If anyone will not work, neither shall he eat. For we hear that there are some who walk among you, and it's a disorderly manner, not working at all, but are busybodies. Translation, what Paul is saying in verse 11 here, Okay, there are people in your city that they're not working. They're not being, they're not, they're not working. And, but they're finding other ways to stay busy. And, I mean, yes, you can find discipline and stuff like sports or um, other things. Sports is definitely a big one because because we know how high school is. Um, kids these days are always when you get into sports, play for the football team, be on cheerleading squad. Well. For girls, not for guys. But, yeah. Um, and they just, they use these activities as an excuse to not work. And they aren't serving God or others, only themselves. And and Paul says, I repeat in chap I mean chapter three verse ten second Thessalonians, if anyone will not work, neither shall he eat. In other words, you gotta earn your food better. You you gotta earn your reward. And um It always. Sorry, got a lost there. Um. So, yeah. If there's a brother among you who will not work, I say call him, we call him an infidel and let him starve because he's basically worse than an unbeliever. So, kids, when you. Um, work your butt off. I mean, it doesn't have to be like an actual job. I mean, I'm always out with my dad splitting wood every winter, basically, which is work. But you know what? Whether whether or not you're getting paid to work, if feels so rewarding. My dad always says there's nothing quite like coming in to the house after a long, hard day's work. And kids these days, they want to avoid work as much as possible just to stay out to work. And it disgusts me. So, you're a young man living at home. Find yourself a good job that works at least around your schedule, around your school schedule. Now, that's, now yes, I know um, you can't really work during school, but find a way around that, okay? And so, there's that. The second thing we're commanded to do as men of God is to control our sexual desires. Um, this is the big one in my, well, in my opinion. And we live in a world that is 
where we have access to pornography pretty much wherever we go. There's a gas station, there's a rack of porn magazines, the internet, billboards, um, ads and, um, Crap, I got lost. Sorry about that. I'm here to die out. Um, I mean, we have such access to pornography, and it's dangerous. And, um, so what do we do? I mean, we look at pornography, fantasize over the ladies, and we're done. We feel so much guilt and shame. Because. Because it's not what God intended marriage to be. And I know most of us watching this video were not married. We don't. Some of us don't even have girlfriends. Which is no excuse to start having sex with her either. But. We need to control our sexual desires. Uh, First Corinthians chapter 6, verses 18 through 20 says, Flee sexual immorality. Every sin that a man does is outside body, but he who commits sexual immorality sins against his own body. Or do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have from God and you are, you are not your own? For you are bought at a price. Therefore glorify God in your body and in, in your spirit, which are God's. Flee sexual immorality. Do you know that almost every book of the Bible talks about sexual sin? Bible is very clear about sex and the Bible is very clear that we should run from sexual sin and yet there are some of us won't basically because we like it, and then there are people that struggle with sexual sin. Pornography is like a drug. It works on the brain, and it affects you, man. I mean, you might say, well, Drew, they're just pictures of naked women on the internet, it's not like I'm interacting with them. Oh yeah, but someday you will interact with real live women. How are you going to treat them? Well, and watching pornography, that won't tell you how to treat a lady. I mean, you watch pornography and then interact with some little old lady at high school or college. It's probably not going to be a good interaction. Now, if any of you are struggling with pornography, please, go find some help. Talk to your um, talk to someone that can help you, um, go online on the internet and find some, find a website that can help you recover from pornography addiction. Do whatever it takes. Just like Joseph in the Old Testament when... 
He was working for Potiphar in Egypt. Potiphar's wife wanted to do stuff with him. And Jake, I mean Joseph, he ran from that. Not necessarily you got now he did the right thing. Joseph did the right thing. And it paid off. We need to be like that. Are we going to be like Jacob or, I mean, Joseph? I keep getting them too mixed up. Are we going to be like Joseph or are we going to be like Samson who pretty much struggled with women the whole time he was judging Israel? Because we all know how Samson was. He had a weakness for women, and eventually fell in love with a Philistine woman named Delilah, who was one of Israel's enemies. And, and um, he revealed the secret of his strength to her, and it cost him everything. The Lord left Samson because of because he told Delilah the secret of his strength. And people, we need to control. We need to be careful what we watch. Internet, billboards, magazines, even a lot of famous even a lot of popular Hollywood movies. Flee from sexual immorality, people. Flee from sexual sin. Our third and final um, guideline for Christians to live like godly Christian men is to Live like a Christian should. Um, too often, we see so many young Christian people not living for God. I just said this earlier. Young people just, they don't live for God. And I know there are good young people out there who want to have a relationship with Jesus Christ and and yet these days we just see so many young people just turn their backs on the faith as soon as they enter college basically and it's sad And, um, I'm reading right now from the Book of Romans, chapter 12, and, um, verse, verses 9, all the way to verse 21 at the end of the book, um, I mean, chapter Paul tells us how to live like Christians. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but I highly recommend, if you're at home, I recommend you read all these verses yourself. I'm just going to read verse 9. Let love be without hypocrisy. Abhor what is evil. Cling to what is good. Let love be without hypocrisy. Abhor what is evil. Cling to what is good. What powerful words. Do we love our neighbor? Do we love each other as Christians? Do we abhor what is evil? And do we cling to what is good?
do we cling to our salvation in Jesus Christ? The salvation he gave to us as a free gift by by um shedding his blood on the cross for our sins. Do we cling to the goodness of that salvation that we have in Jesus Christ? Or do we just go off and do our own thing, do what we want? I don't know about you, but hey, I'm planning to live for Jesus as long as I live. And I hope you do too, young Christian man. I hope you do. I'll close with this. God is calling young men all over the world to live for him. Yes, so many people, I mean, yes, so few people actually do. And I know this. When we live our lives for Jesus, we will be truly rewarded. I challenge you with this, young Christian man. You really want to live for God? Find a good hard paying job and work your butt off. Clean up your what you're watching on TV or the internet. And read scripture every day. And don't forget to pray. Pray every day. Um, I cannot stress, um, enough the power of prayer. We don't, we as Christians do not pray enough. And God, he wants to hear what we have to say. And he will respond. I can guarantee you that, American Christian. And so, well, so there's my challenge for you. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, hopefully, Mara will be back soon doing some more Formula One videos. And um, Tuesday, Wednesday, I got a big surprise for you, for y'all. So, if you like this video, you like any of my other videos, click that like button, hit that subscribe button. And hit that notification button so you can be notified of other videos I release. So that's all I got for now. Stay safe. Have fun. As always, God bless America. We'll see you tomorrow.